Another sleepless and deadly night for the people in Gaza as they were attacked by artillery and airstrikes. The Israeli military said it targeted sites Hamas has been using to launch around 2,300 rockets at Israel over the last several days, killing Israeli civilians. The Israeli military released images showing precision strikes destroying Hamas tunnels and what it described as Hamas commander's apartments. But medical officials in Gaza say Palestinian civilians were also killed. This man says he lost six members of his family in an airstrike, including three grandchildren and his pregnant daughter-in-law. And this round of fighting isn't limited to Gaza anymore. Deadly clashes have spread to the West Bank, a separate Palestinian area disconnected from the Gaza Strip. There's been no let up in the violence in Gaza. The Israeli military has confirmed that it's destroyed the building which houses the offices of some foreign news operations. Staff had been evacuated following warnings from Israeli officers Israel says it was targeting Hamas military intelligence. Earlier, Palestinian officials said Israeli airstrikes killed 14 people, including five children in a densely populated refugee camp. One Israeli has died in a rocket attack from Gaza on a Tel Aviv suburb. Paul Adams has the latest from Jerusalem. In the dark of another long night in Gaza, a desperate search for signs of life. A four-story building in a densely packed refugee camp hit repeatedly, according to eyewitnesses, and raised to the ground. The rescue operation was frantic, <laughs> yielding only a catalogue of death. Two families obliterated, at least seven people, including five children, aged from five to 14. Mohammed Hadidi has lost almost everyone. His wife, Maha, and the children were staying with her brother when the missile struck. Little Omar is all he has left, found in the rubble next to his mother. Images released overnight display an operation that shows no sign of letting up. Israel says it's up to Hamas to stop firing first. That's not happening either. This the aftermath of a rocket attack in the city of Beersheba. The rockets are, as always, indiscriminate. This is a solemn day across the Palestinian territories. In Ramallah, on the West Bank, sirens sounded to mark the 73 years since the creation of the State of Israel and the dispossession of hundreds of thousands of Palestinians. On the streets of Israel's mixed cities, where Jews and Arabs live side by side, uneasy quiet this morning after nights of shocking violence. This is Jaffa, scene of fresh disturbances last night, now almost deserted. Fear and hatred tugging away at the fabric of Israeli society. Paul Adams, BBC News, Jerusalem. Well, our correspondent in Gaza, Rushdie Abu Alef, has more on the events leading up to the destruction of the building, which was housing international news companies. Yeah, it's true. It's uh, not far from our office in, in Gaza. We have been watching the destroying of the building uh, live from our roof uh, top. It's uh, uh, the biggest building so far. It's housing about 60 residential uh, people, housing uh, tech companies, uh, engineering companies, including the Al Jazeera uh, TV, satellite TV channel. Yeah, I was talking to the landlord of the building. He said he received a call from an uh, Israeli uh, officer uh, telling him that the, you have to evacuate the building immediately. The guy, I mean, the, the, the owner said he asked the uh, officer for another 10 minutes to uh, uh, take some of the archive from the uh, Al Jazeera office, but uh, uh, they refused and uh, he asked everybody to be away from, from the building. Then it was uh, fired some warning uh, shots, uh, warning rockets and the roof of the building. Then the building was completely uh, destroyed uh, from uh, Israeli fighter jets. In this tower, along with a Johera tower, which was um, di uh, directly targeted yesterday. As you can hear now, the raids are... The raids are ta uh, uh, directly targeting the tower. 
just a while ago as well. I'm sorry, I'm sorry again. Oh my God, yes, 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 I need to go down. Ah. Oh. Um, I, I can't, I can't, I, I, if you can hear me, I can't. We're going to direct the camera now towards towards the explosions. Can you hear me? Yes, I've directed the camera now towards the explosion. This is this is a Shrok tower that has been brought down. As you can see, I was standing right opposite to it when I was talking to you. The destruction is massive. This is one of the This is one of the the, the biggest buildings it's the, the building has not fallen yet It has not fallen yet which means that more rockets right now will be fired so the rocket attacks are, are continuing on Israeli cities. And just in the last few moments, we heard uh, two sets of air raid sirens. Uh, an NBC producer witnessed a rocket uh, crashing into the sea off of Tel Aviv. Uh, what, what happened is what we saw is you, you hear the air raid sirens, and then shortly after you hear the Israeli missile defense system, the Iron Dome, going into effect. So you hear lots of explosions. You see lots of small explosions in the sky as the missile defense system is trying to counter and stop the incoming rockets. People on the street immediately began to scatter, and this happened twice in just the last few moments, going into their homes, heading toward bomb shelters, uh, go, going into safe rooms that many Israelis have in their own uh, buildings or in their own apartments. And uh, so far, according to the, uh, the military, three locations around Tel Aviv were, were, uh, were targeted, including near the Ben-Gurion airport. And this is why Israel says it is continuing its campaign against the Gaza Strip. It was another sleepless and deadly night for the people in Gaza as they were attacked by artillery and airstrikes. The Israeli military said it targeted sites Hamas has been using to launch around 2,300 rockets at Israel over the last several days, killing Israeli civilians. The Israeli military released images showing precision strikes destroying Hamas tunnels and what it described as Hamas commander's apartments. But medical officials in Gaza say Palestinian civilians were also killed. This man says he lost six members of his family in an airstrike, including three grandchildren and his pregnant daughter-in-law. And this round of fighting isn't limited to Gaza anymore. Deadly clashes have spread to the West Bank, a separate Palestinian area disconnected from the Gaza Strip. It's even spread into Israel itself. Israel is known as the Jewish state, but it's not all Jewish. 20% of its citizens are Arab, Palestinians, most of them Muslim, with Israeli citizenship. This CCTV footage appears to show men placing Molotov cocktails in front of a home in Jaffa, a mixed Arab and Jewish neighborhood in Tel Aviv. The men light them up and run. At least one Arab boy was burned. Arab Israelis say this is part of a campaign of intimidation hardline Jews are using to drive Arabs out of their homes in Israel. Palestinian Israelis have also ambushed Jews. And this internal citizen-on-citizen -citizen sectarian violence seems to be growing. Police here in Tel Aviv say they are investigating that alleged arson attack, uh, and Israeli officials say they are treating Israeli on Israeli, Arab against Jew, Jew against Arab attacks as, a, as acts of terrorism. All right, Richard Engel in Tel Aviv this morning with no clear indication how this gets resolved. Richard, thank you very much.